Absolute zero is the theoretical lowest temperature possible, where a thermodynamic system has minimal energy. It is defined as zero Kelvin K, which is equivalent to minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or dash 459.67 degree F12. Key concepts of absolute zero. Thermodynamic definition. At absolute zero, a system reaches its lowest possible energy state. This means that the kinetic energy of particles is minimized, but not entirely zero due to quantum mechanical effects 1. Zero point energy. Even at absolute zero, particles retain a minimal amount of energy known as zero point energy. This is due to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which states that we cannot precisely know both the position and momentum of a particle 12. Behavior of gases. The concept of absolute zero emerged from observing gases. As gases cool, they contract. Extrapolating this behavior suggests that an ideal gas would reach zero volume at absolute zero. However, real gases liquefy or solidify before reaching this point. 1. Temperature scales. The Kelvin scale is used in scientific measurements and starts at absolute zero. 1 Kelvin is the same size as 1 degree Celsius, but the Kelvin scale is shifted so that 0 K is absolute zero 12. Achieving absolute zero. In practice, reaching absolute zero is impossible. Scientists have come very close, achieving temperatures in the range of picokelvins, trillionths of a Kelvin. The closest recorded temperature is around 50 picokelvin 12. Implications in quantum mechanics. At temperatures approaching absolute zero, quantum mechanical effects become significant. For instance, Bessin-Steen condensates, a state of matter where particles occupy the same quantum state, can form two. Practical applications and research. Cryogenics. The study of materials at very low temperatures, including the behavior of superconductors and superfluids, which exhibit unique properties near absolute zero too. Quantum computing. Quantum computers operate at temperatures close to absolute zero to minimize thermal noise and maintain quantum coherence too. Understanding absolute zero helps scientists explore the fundamental limits of temperature and the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. It's a cornerstone concept in thermodynamics and quantum mechanics, providing insights into the nature of energy and matter. Entropy, a measure of disorder or randomness in a system, has a profound relationship with absolute zero. Entropy and absolute zero. Third law of thermodynamics. The third law states that as the temperature of a system approaches absolute zero, the entropy of a perfect crystal approaches a constant minimum. For a perfect crystal, this minimum is typically zero entropy. Perfect crystals. A perfect crystal is an idealized structure where atoms are arranged in a perfectly ordered state. At absolute zero, there is only one possible microstate, the most ordered state, leading to zero entropy. Residual entropy. Real substances often have some residual entropy even at absolute zero due to imperfect ions or disorder in their structure. This residual entropy arises from the presence of multiple microstates that the system can occupy even at very low temperatures. Quantum mechanical effects. Quantum mechanics plays a crucial role at temperatures near absolute zero. Even at these low temperatures, particles exhibit zero-point energy, meaning they still possess some inherent motion. This motion contributes to the system's entropy, entropy and temperature relationship. As temperature decreases, the number of accessible microstates decreases, leading to a reduction in entropy. At absolute zero, the system is in its ground state with minimal energy and minimal entropy. Practical implications. Cryogenics and low temperature physics. Understanding the relationship between entropy and absolute zero is essential in fields like cryogenics, where scientists study materials at extremely low temperatures to observe unique quantum phenomena. Thermodynamic processes. In thermodynamics, processes that approach absolute zero are used to understand the fundamental limits of energy transfer and the behavior of materials under extreme conditions. Summary. At absolute zero, a perfect crystal theoretically has zero entropy because it is in a state of perfect order. However, real systems often retain some entropy due to imperfect ions and quantum mechanical effects. This relationship between entropy and absolute zero is a cornerstone of thermodynamics and helps scientists explore the fundamental nature of matter and energy. Zero-point energy. Even at absolute zero, particles retain a minimal amount of energy known as zero-point energy. This is due to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which states that we cannot precisely know both the position and momentum of a particle. As a result, particles continue to exhibit quantum vibrations 1. 2. Bose-Einstein condensates, Beck. At temperatures close to absolute zero, certain types of particles, known as bosons, can occupy the same quantum state, forming a Bose-Einstein condensate. In this state, 
particles behave as a single quantum entity with unique properties, such as superfluidity, where the fluid flows without viscosity 1. 3. Fermionic condensates. Similar to Beck's, fermionic condensates occur with fermions, particles like electrons. These condensates form at extremely low temperatures and exhibit superfluidity. Fermionic condensates are crucial for understanding superconductivity, where electrical resistance drops to 0 1. 4. Quantum magnetism. Near absolute zero, researchers can study quantum magnetism by cooling particles to extremely low temperatures. This allows them to observe magnetic correlations and behaviors that are purely quantum mechanical in nature too. 5. Quantum tunneling. At very low temperatures, quantum tunneling becomes significant. This effect allows particles to pass through energy barriers that they would not be able to surmount classically. Quantum tunneling is essential in processes like nuclear fusion and certain chemical reactions too. 6. Quantum simulators. Scientists use ultra-cold atoms to simulate complex quantum systems. These quantum simulators help in understanding phenomena like high-temperature superconductivity and quantum phase transitions, which are difficult to study directly too. Practical applications. Quantum computing. Quantum computers operate at temperatures close to absolute zero to minimize thermal noise and maintain quantum coherence, which is essential for their operation too. Cryogenics, the study of materials at very low temperatures, including the behavior of superconductors and superfluids, which exhibit unique properties near absolute zero too. Summary, near absolute zero, quantum mechanical effects dominate, leading to the formation of exotic states of matter like Bose-Einstein condensates and fermionic condensates. These effects provide deep insights into the fundamental nature of matter and energy, with significant implications for fields like quantum computing and cryogenics. Electronics. Tunnel diodes, these are semiconductor devices that exploit quantum tunneling to achieve very high-speed switching. They are used in high-frequency oscillators and amplifiers 1. Transistors. In modern microelectronics, tunneling effects limit the minimum size of transistors. As transistors shrink, electrons can tunnel through insulating layers, affecting device performance 2. 2. Quantum computing. Qubits, quantum tunneling is essential in the operation of certain types of qubits, the basic units of quantum computers. Tunneling allows qubits to exist in superposition states, enabling quantum computers to perform complex calculations much faster than classical computers too. 3. Scanning Tunneling Microscope, STM. Imaging at atomic scale, the STM uses quantum tunneling to image surfaces at the atomic level. When a sharp tip is brought very close to a surface, electrons tunnel between the tip and the surface, allowing the microscope to map the surface's atomic structure 1. 4. Flash memory. Data storage. Flash memory devices use quantum tunneling to store data. Electrons tunnel through an insulating barrier to charge a floating gate, representing stored data. This technology is widely used in USB drives, SSDs, and memory cards too. 5. Nuclear fusion. Star energy, quantum tunneling is a key process in nuclear fusion, the reaction that powers stars. In fusion, atomic nuclei overcome their electrostatic repulsion and fuse together, releasing energy. Tunneling allows these nuclei to get close enough to fuse, despite the repulsive forces too. 6. Biological systems. Enzyme catalysis, some biological processes, such as enzyme-catalyzed reactions, involve quantum tunneling. Enzymes can facilitate the tunneling of protons or electrons, speeding up biochemical reactions too. DNA mutations, quantum tunneling can also play a role in DNA mutations, where protons tunnel between different positions in the DNA molecule, potentially leading to genetic changes too. Summary, quantum tunneling is a fundamental quantum mechanical effect with diverse applications in technology, biology, and physics. It enables high-speed electronic devices, advanced imaging techniques, efficient data storage, and even plays a role in the fundamental processes of life and the universe. Enzyme catalysis. Speeding up reactions, enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up chemical reactions in cells. Quantum tunneling allows particles, such as protons or electrons, to pass through energy barriers that would otherwise slow down these reactions. This tunneling effect helps enzymes achieve their remarkable efficiency 1. 2. Photosynthesis. Energy transfer. In photosynthesis, plants convert light energy into chemical energy. Quantum tunneling facilitates the efficient transfer of energy between molecules in the photosynthetic complex. This process ensures that energy is quickly and effectively funneled to the reaction centers where it is used to produce glucose 2. 3. DNA mutations. Proton tunneling. Quantum tunneling can cause protons to move between different positions in DNA molecules, potentially leading to mutations. 
these mutations can have various effects, from benign changes to significant impacts on an organism's health and evolution. 3. 4. Olfaction, sense of smell. Molecular recognition, one theory of olfaction suggests that our sense of smell relies on quantum tunneling. According to this theory, odorant molecules are recognized by receptors in the nose through the tunneling of electrons, which helps distinguish different smells based on their vibrational frequencies. 4. 5. Magnetoreception. Navigation in animals, some animals, like birds and sea turtles, can navigate using Earth's magnetic field. Quantum tunneling is thought to play a role in magnetoreception, where certain molecules in the animal's body undergo quantum transitions that help detect magnetic fields. 5. Summary. Quantum tunneling is a fundamental process that enables various biological functions, from enzyme activity and photosynthesis to DNA mutations and sensory perception. These quantum effects highlight the intricate and often surprising ways in which life at the molecular level operates. Zero Point Energy, ZPE. Definition, zero-point energy is the residual energy present in a system due to quantum fluctuations, even when the system is in its ground state, lowest energy state. This energy arises because particles are never completely at rest due to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which states that we cannot simultaneously know the exact position and momentum of a particle 1. 2. Quantum vacuum. Nature of vacuum. In classical physics, a vacuum is simply empty space devoid of matter. However, in quantum mechanics, the vacuum is far from empty. It is a seething background of fluctuating energy fields and virtual particles that constantly pop in and out of existence too. Vacuum state. The vacuum state is the lowest energy state of a quantum field, but it still possesses zero-point energy. This energy is not directly observable but has measurable effects, such as the Casimir effect 3. 3. Casimir effect. Explanation. The Casimir effect is a physical force arising from the zero-point energy of the vacuum. When two uncharged, parallel plates are placed very close to each other in a vacuum, they experience an attractive force due to the difference in zero-point energy between the inside and outside of the plates too. Significance, this effect provides experimental evidence for the existence of zero-point energy and the dynamic nature of the quantum vacuum too. For vacuum energy and cosmology, cosmological constant problem, the vacuum energy contributes to the cosmological constant, which affects the expansion of the universe. However, theoretical predictions of vacuum energy density are vastly larger than what is observed, leading to one of the biggest unsolved problems in physics 1. Dark energy, some theories suggest that the vacuum energy might be related to dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe 1. 5. Applications and Implications Quantum field theory, understanding zero-point energy is crucial for quantum field theory, which describes how fields and particles interact at the quantum level 2. Technological applications, while harnessing zero-point energy as a practical energy source remains speculative, its principles are applied in technologies like the scanning tunneling microscope, STM, which uses quantum tunneling to image surfaces at the atomic level too. Summary. Zero-point energy is an intrinsic part of the quantum vacuum, reflecting the ever-present fluctuations and virtual particles in empty space. This energy has profound implications for our understanding of the universe, from the behavior of subatomic particles to the expansion of the cosmos. Quantum fluctuations and vacuum state. Nature of the vacuum. In QFT, the vacuum is not empty but filled with fluctuating energy fields. These fluctuations are due to zero-point energy, which is the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system can have won. Virtual particles. The vacuum is teeming with virtual particles that constantly pop in and out of existence. These particles are a direct consequence of zero-point energy and contribute to various quantum phenomena too. 2. Casimir effect. Explanation. The Casimir effect is a physical manifestation of zero-point energy. When two uncharged, parallel plates are placed very close to each other in a vacuum, they experience an attractive force due to the difference in zero-point energy between the inside and outside of the plates too. Significance, this effect provides experimental evidence for the existence of zero-point energy and the dynamic nature of the quantum vacuum too. 3. Stability of matter. Atomic and molecular stability, zero-point energy contributes to the stability of atoms and molecules. Even at absolute zero, particles retain some vibrational motion due to zero-point energy, preventing them from collapsing into a singular state. 3. 4. Cosmological implications. Cosmological constant problem, zero-point energy contributes to the cosmological constant, which affects the expansion of the universe. However, theoretical predictions of vacuum energy density are vastly larger than what is observed, leading to one of the biggest unsolved problems in physics too. 
Dark energy, some theories suggest that zero-point energy might be related to dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe too. 5. Quantum field theory framework. Field quantization, in QFT, particles are seen as excitations of underlying fields. Each field has zero-point energy, which influences the behavior of particles and interactions at the quantum level 1. Renormalization, zero-point energy plays a role in the renormalization process, where infinities in quantum field calculations are managed to produce finite, physically meaningful results 3. Summary. Zero-point energy is a cornerstone of quantum field theory, influencing everything from the stability of matter to the expansion of the universe. It provides a deeper understanding of the quantum vacuum and the fundamental nature of particles and fields. The problem of infinities. Divergences, in QFT, calculations often involve integrals over all possible energy states, leading to infinities, divergences, in quantities like particle self-energy and vacuum polarization 1. Ultraviolet divergences, these infinities typically occur at high energy, short distance, scales, known as ultraviolet, UV, divergences 1. 2. Regularization. Taming divergences, the first step in renormalization is regularization, which introduces a temporary QTAF or modification to the theory to make the integrals finite. Common methods include QTAF regularization, imposing a maximum energy limit, dimensional regularization, extending the number of dimensions in which the integrals are evaluated 1. 3. Renormalization process. Parameter redefinition, renormalization involves redefining, renormalizing, the parameters of the theory, such as mass and coupling constants, to absorb the infinities and obtain finite, physically meaningful results 1. Bare versus renormalized quantized ties, the original parameters in the theory are called bare parameters. Renormalization adjusts these to match the observed, renormalized, quantized ties 1. 4. Renormalization group. Running couplings, renormalization leads to the concept of running coupling constants, which change with the energy scale. This is described by the renormalization group equations, providing insights into how physical quantities evolve with energy 1. Scale dependence, the renormalization group helps in understanding the behavior of quantum field theories across different energy scales, crucial for studying phenomena like asymptotic freedom in quantum chromodynamics, QCD, 1. 5. Effective field theories. Low energy approximations, renormalization allows for the development of effective field theories, which describe low energy phenomena without needing to account for high energy details explicitly 1. Universality, this concept shows that different microscopic theories can lead to the same macroscopic behavior, highlighting the robustness of physical laws across scales 1. Summary, renormalization is essential for making QFT calculations finite and physically meaningful. It systematically handles infinities by redefining parameters, leading to accurate predictions and a deeper understanding of how physical laws operate at different energy scales. That was all, goodbye.